Hello everyone, welcome back to Doom. Uh, this is scary. Are you ready? <laughs> uh, these look the same, but look how far apart I did them. 15th of February was when I screwed it all up. 9th of March is today, and I've just done the previous one, but I had to quit Zandronum so that the computer didn't screw up. This is scary, because this is going to happen. So, just keep dancing around here. Oh my god, how many of them can there possibly be? Guess we use up all our ammo here. And then... Oh, this is very loud. I apologise for this being very loud. Uh, much like with the chainsaw in the previous episode, I uh, hope, beyond all hope, that the uh, volume adjustments I do in post-processing will make this okay for you, but... Ow. If you didn't hear what I just said, then indeed the post-processing I did the volume adjustment I did in post-processing did not uh, make it okay for you, and I should repeat myself. I hope that the volume adjustments that I just did in post-processing will make that okay for you. We have 50% health as a result of not dodging properly, which is usually how things go in any of the video games I play. Yes, they're video games. Yes, I'm old. Get over it. I may have to sneeze in about three to five seconds, so apologies for this. Uh, 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 nope. Is it there? No? Hang on. Wait. Uh, oh, denied. So, we got an, we got many things from that, apart from using up all our ammo. One of which was a computer map, but none of which was any HP, which is right there. Fudge. <laughs> May end up doing this again. Much as I enjoy shooting these things from range. Uh, I'm not necessarily going to be able to, because we don't have that much ammunition, although, we have this now. They have a lot of, uh, they fly a lot when you hit them with a rocket launcher. A lot of knockback. Not much friction, I guess, when you're in the air. Oh, there's one behind me. Careful. Uh, I think we're going to use this again. Apologies for the sound. Ah, motherland! Nearly got hit there. Definitely got hit there. Plenty of ammo for this because we did do our due diligence on the previous episode. Well, you only need less than 40% health to get that I'm gonna die thing. Dude. There were different standards in those days, weren't there? Like... I'm okay at 3% health uh, when I've got this level of control. Obviously, we didn't back then. Sure, I will pick that up. There's all our ammo, so at least we get reimbursed for much of this. I suspect that if I jump in there, that's going to be the end of me, so I'm going to want to make sure I get everything here first. Because there's... Over there... There... Oh, well... Secret is revealed. Interesting. This is all going to go wrong for me, isn't it? Luckily, we haven't spent too much time on this episode. Obviously, this being such a small secret area. A secret is the way out. Okay. That did not go wrong for me. I'm very excited. Being such a small level, I think we'll probably do uh, the next level on this episode as well. Yeah, that was the end of it. 100%. Very small level. Fortress of Mystery. Uh, but, of course... Quite dangerous if you are playing this in hard mode with the mouse and keyboard. So what are we doing now? The Halls of the Damned. I remember this name. Please. Good. So this is another... We're still in human territory. And I suspect that kind of makes sense because this is episode 2, mission 6. We're still working our way through the uh, corrupted facility that we, we found ourselves spawning in in the first place. Honestly, there's no sense wasting ammo on that thing. Uh, I'm not quite sure what's going to happen here. I'm pretty sure it saves at the start of the level, so... That's interesting. Okay. Uh, I don't need to save scum it right now. I'm being very cautious for some reason. Basically because I'm expecting to die uh, just from stepping around a corner at any moment. So what, if we, what happens if we do this? Nothing. 
That means any enemies that are here are set to be death. But there aren't any enemies here. I don't like it. That's very disconcerting. Guess we pick that up. And then they probably all spawn in and then... Or we get teleported, maybe. Okay. So that has happened. That's opened. Guess we just leg it now. We've got plenty of HP because of the previous... Good grief. <laughs> previous level. Something over here opened. Great. So there's the exit. Good. At least we know where we're going. We have some goal. It's definitely going to open. Probably a monster closet. Oh, I kind of remember this. It's an interesting level uh, because everything is made up of all these um, similarly sized corridors. It's much like the previous level and it's very, very Warren-like. Again, I'm going to use my chainsaw even though it's loud because I'd like to conserve ammo as much as possible. Because I expect that coming up there will be some reason to have done so. Uh, a difficult high level boss or something like that. Which, I mean, it's probably not how we would refer to it in the uh, original Doom parlance. But it's how I'm going to refer to it today because I'm older than I was then and I've picked up new vernacular from new cultures. I'm very framey and I don't know why. I find it hard to believe that any of the things I currently have running are causing Doom to have trouble. So I may just have to put it down to variants or what's this? Okay, good. Um, or simply uh, maybe a, a less than optimal implementation of the engine, I suppose. This is this is dark, by the way. It's not just YouTube. It's very dark in here. I hope that you can see what's going on. There's not a lot I can do about it, I suppose. YouTube does often, or occasionally at least, offer to uh, brighten the video for me, but I may do it myself. Interesting. Just skulls with the occasional piece of metal. Not quite sure what the piece of metal's for. Why? Whoa, 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 whoa. Um. That was a jump scare that actually worked from the original Doom 1995. This one ain't gonna work though. Eat it. Um. Hello. That's another one of those things where maybe. Oh, it actually hurt me. Um. Maybe it would make sense. Maybe they are cutting corners to reduce the amount of stuff that they had to put in the Doom game, because obviously every single texture takes up some amount of space. Please. Good. So maybe they just used an existing texture, but in a more modern version of the game, I'm really looking forward to Doom 2016 to see how they do similar things. Uh, we should have basically custom textures for every single situation. Uh, cover your ears. Quite an, it's new uh, for us Doom players to have the plasma gun actually light the room up in blue. Uh, tangled up in blue like Tom Petty? Is it Tom Petty or Bob Dylan? I always forget because if I quite like it, I assume it was Tom Petty. Whereas if I think it could have been better, but then it was Bob Dylan because Tom Petty is basically what Bob Dylan would have been if he'd had a better studio and the producer. Cool. So I think we've somewhat explored this place. I don't mind using some ammunition because obviously the reason we're saving ammunition is so that we can take ownership of a situation where using the chainsaw will be suboptimal. But <clears throat> it's not imperative that we do it. It's not imperative that we don't. Quite like some of these uh, shiny textures we've got going on over there. This place is nice and clean, apart from the fact that I just covered it in blood. But yeah, I'm very much looking forward to playing Doom 2016 after we played this Doom 1995. If this had been 1996, that would have been so much more poetic. Or if they brought Doom 2016 out in 2015. These, um, these corridors are not designed for the tactics that I'm using. You know, aiming with the mouse, stepping backwards. I remember this. And I remember trying to figure out what that was, and it means no, no humans. Don't go this way. 
I suspect these corridors would not be so tight. Or... If we were remaking this specific game in a modern engine, you have to imagine that perhaps we would be using different tactics to produce the same effects. Like these halls with the dams, the halls may be bigger, but occasionally we'd use a smaller uh, set of hallways and use the the crouch um, the crouch feature of the of the game engine to force you to go through very tight corridors. When you two have finished, I'd like to uh, finish this Joker off. Don't mind letting the enemies take themselves out a little bit. Do you know, I was going to record an Isaac run. See, that probably would not have been possible with your traditional mouse and keyboard setup. That went really well. Um, but I'm doing so badly. I'm doing really, really badly in Isaac. Which is probably the game I played the most, especially on the channel. 506 hours. So that means don't press that. Okay. Uh, but I, I just can't do it. I would rather face this mildly terrifying, although very old and somewhat, I don't want to say cheapened, but easy, easy-fied game. It's not cheaper. <coughs> Sorry, it's not um, it's not made cheaper or or worse. I don't know what word I'm trying to look for there, but it's not less of a game because I'm scumming it up with modern tactics. Hello. I think, but uh, because it's still pretty terrifying. <laughs> I'm still shitting myself. Hang on. So here's another one of those things I was telling you about because. The game is made in such a way, right? So these things represent... There's all representation going on because we couldn't properly model exactly what's happening. I'm supposed to have entered through this door and yet this corridor is here. But this corridor looks like it's supposed to be here in the halls of the dams. It's part of the facility. All this is part of the facility. Okie dokie. We have to find all the keys, apparently. So how the hell did I come in through that door? Now, you might say, well, obviously with all this, you know, portal to hell shit going on, there's dimensional rifts and all, you know, ludicrous and manic things happening, not just to real life, but to time and space as well, which is much more well communicated in Doom 3, in fact, because we have the technology in that game to warp space and time and things like that. Basically, literally... Not, not, not necessarily. Actually, literally, I don't think you can warp time in the game, but you no, know, it certainly plays with the uh, warping of space once or twice, as well as the the manic and and gruesome takeover of of our uh, facility by much more uh, gorish hell things than than this game shows us. But, I mean, if you're going to do things like that, you really need to lay into it so that it's obviously not just made a design mistake in the game. Now, for me, that is a design mistake in the game because I wasn't there, I guess, when they designed the game. And this is not 1995 anymore. And I'm I'm more attentive to things like that. Apart from the fact that I'm not a child because I was a kid when I last played it. A blue torch is giving off blue light. Pretty nice. Um, if I'm supposed to... They... A game, or any design of anything, artwork, I suppose, should be deliberate. Such that people should not be left wondering if what you did was on purpose. That's helpful. Right? People shouldn't be going, did you mean to do that? Or did you overlook it? And that's how I'm feeling about that particular situation right there. Right there! Um, so, I think we're going to change all this joke up. Maybe some of these bastards? We do have a lot of HP, we could probably stand to use some of it on... So a standard trade-off between HP and ammo, I guess. Do you want to spend HP or ammunition doing this Partial thing? Invisibility. Now they can't see us, but there's no one to see me. At least I can see what I'm doing now. Pick up the extra armor. Still got more than 100% health, so 
At least we're not bleeding through the nose in a manner that makes me very, very viscerally remember this terrifying game when I was a child. How did you know I was there? I keep saying I was a child, I'm pretty sure. So 1995 was the earliest I could have played it. Unless it was 92. Let's say 95, because that gives me a little bit more leeway. Um, if I played the game when it came out in 1995, then I would have been 13. Wait, 12. So that counts as a kid. That's, that's child age. But that's sort of the edge of teenage where you are sort of stepping out of childish... You're not, you're not as easily terrified by things. You, your childish mental, mentality, that's a good word, is being slowly overridden by a more adult one and a more capable one. And you want to sort of push the boat out and see what you can you know, deal with. So this is another situation where you might turn it into a, an air duct or something so you have to crawl through it. Why would this exist? It's called the holders of the damned, so to some extent you have to give it the hello benefit of the doubt that maybe they haven't uh, made a design mistake creating something that is supposed to be. I can see you moving around. Not moving around. Um, supposed to be a, a sensible facility. So I know what happens here. You open that and the floor goes away. <laughs> Spoilers. We'll see it soon enough, don't worry about it. Fuck. I'm locked in, help. Ah, oh, shit. Open the door. Can't open the door. Player was squished. Well, we'll try this again. <laughs> Another reason I kind of want to save scum all the time is that it's so much quicker when you do silly things like that to uh, just undo it, go back a little bit. I, uh, this is level is long enough that I think that like, I don't think that I died there out of uh, a lack of skill. It's more like a lack of being sensible, which happens a lot. Don't worry. You know, we all have these moments. So if I save it at a slightly more sensible time, are we temporarily invincible? We are somewhat capable of getting through there. Don't really need those, which is nice. Okay, so we're already finished with the bits that we found particularly difficult last time. There was a lot of shooting stuff, uh, and I recognise that that is a bit of a silly thing to say when the day game you're playing is Doom, but I mean by that uh, to say that we have been... Um, there was a lot of stuff to shoot. Maybe it's a better way of putting it. So, we got a lot of things to go through again in order to get back to where we were, was the reason I said that very silly thing. Uh, there's a lot of these light amplification goggles, which is super good. Appreciate it. Great deal. So if we go in there, that's gonna release one of those barons of hell onto an unsuspecting public. This is when I would very much like a grenade launcher, because I know what's around that corner. So I'm not going in there just yet. We will end up going in there anyway. We'll pick up our goggles. Visor. It's a visor. We'll go in here. And we'll chew up all these things. With a chainsaw. Now that we can see exactly where we're going. I won't pick that up yet because I'm pretty sure that's blue armour. I like that they've uh, added these effects into the game. To make it... Slightly more balanced when you pick up something like the visor. Like, now it's obviously um, supposed to represent night vision goggles. Which are traditionally. Do you know what? We should try this. Yeah, that, that doesn't work. No, it doesn't work so well against this thing. I'm going to use my noise again. I apologise, but. Kind of just gets it down by a whole bunch of HP early on, which is nice. We can finish it off with a shotgun, but. Pumping a bunch of those things into it really just speeds up the whole affair quite considerably. That thing was moving and made me jump. I know about you this time, no more jump scares for you. I mean, the fact that this game actually gave me a jump scare at my age, and with the age of the game going on as well. Uh, mad Chiefs, basically. That's what makes it so timeless. 
but uh, obviously it's not that timeless because I'm just running around with a chainsaw, drilling up caca demons like it ain't no fang. Which, to be fair, it ain't. I love the expression on his face when you uh, hold down the chainsaw button. It's basically the same as the expression on my face when I hold down the chainsaw button. Some shotgun these jokers. Shotgun wedding. Shotgun where? What happened to Panic at the Disco? Can somebody please tell me why Panic at the Disco is no longer a thing? When I was your age, I very much enjoyed Panic at the Disco. I thought that that one album, whose name I can't remember, was basically a series of good songs. And there are very few albums that I really want to listen to the whole way through. So Panic at the Disco did a pretty good job of producing an album that I wanted to listen to all the way through. Although, it's been long enough now that I've kind of forgotten a lot about it, so... I mean, that's not their fault, that's probably my fault for getting old and forgetting things. Where are my visors in this place? But I haven't heard anything from Panic at the Disco since then. And I feel like maybe I should have. Are they still current? Can somebody tell me? Or is it one of those things where they're still making music, but you have to be a proper fan in order to have discovered that? Here's what I want. So we're losing armor, but that's okay because I left basically full armor behind. Kind of on purpose because I knew that we'd be getting hurt and therefore we probably need it. That's what we want. And then do this. And then he'll come at me. They're coming right for us! They don't half attack. You notice how they walk in a weird direction. Just come at me, bro. I really, really like using the chainsaw this much. I'm half hoping that we find another soul sphere or something so that we can get back to 200 health and armor. I don't really expect it to happen. I wish that guy wouldn't shout at me every single time I do something that I'm already fully aware of. Thank you very much. So now we have one more Baron of Hell to deal with. And then I'll save it. Uh, how long has this episode been? 20 minutes. I might save it uh, at the end of that fight and then come back in the next episode. That remains to be seen. I think we've done everything in here, so we'll leave. Go out here. Uh, wait. This way, there is stuff. Yeah, that's where we want to be. Beverly Hills. That's where I want to be. Thank you. Appreciate the cells, because I've been using them a lot. I remember. I did this last time. That was very satisfying. Finding myself better at dodging in Doom than in Isaac, which is my point of bringing up Isaac in the first place. Like, Isaac, you can see around you. And in Doom, you can only see in front of you, and yet I'm dodging things in Doom that I wouldn't expect to dodge in Isaac. Yes, probably take this now. I mean, I know it could have done better for us, but... Who gives a shit? Let me kill these things with a chainsaw. Chainsaw, not chain gun. Then we wait for the other ones to come right for us. Unless that was that one. Now nah, they're, they're out, I can hear them. And then maybe they will attack each other like they did last time. I appreciate the fact that it tracks the target. Uh, if the target moves while you're chainsawing it. And then I'm going to use my plasma gun to do this. It's basically the, uh, like a mini Satan right now. Use some of these ammos here. There's plenty of this ammo on the ground, you see. So I don't feel too bad about using that. And here are another one of them, so we'll chainsaw that. Then I'll save it and come back in the next episode, so... Let's do the usual spiel, which is that I hope that you have enjoyed this episode and don't mind watching me die like a noob. I hope that you will be coming back to see the next episode. I want to know why this creature is always here. Uh, and remember to... 
if you use the like button because you liked it, that will help me with my rankings. And if you use the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel, then it will tell you when I upload another video. So liking helps me and subscribing helps you. So if you want to do either of those things, but we will both be grateful. So until the next episode, thank you for watching this one and I'll see you then.